Hiya, my name's Shane Miller and I'm the Artistic Director of Propbox. And this is a series of video tutorials. This particular one is about the basics. The position of the main light, using a light meter to measure the light and a grey card. We'll go on to create more in the series of how we shoot in our studio. So we always start with the position of our main light. And as you can see, for me, we always choose 45 degrees and 45 degrees up. And just to prove the point, I know this light isn't right for my height. I'm not sitting in the seat, I'm standing at the moment. But if I was just to um, lower the light, even worse, you can see that, well, it's more like a horror light. So we want to raise that. I know that I want a 45 degrees and I want a 45 degrees across my face, giving me a round brown feel lighting with a shadow from the corner of my nose to the corner of my mouth. So I'm gonna put that up. I'm guessing now, um, I'm guessing on my height and the light source. So I'm hoping that's approximately correct. The shadow should be from here to here and it should give me a lovely triangular piece of light just there onto my, this side of my face. And that would obviously be um, altered for the height of the person and whether they're sitting down or standing up. This is one of the basic things that we always start with and it's the first thing we start with. The next thing we use is a light meter. We use it religiously every time in our studio to measure the light output. And what we would always do is choose to use the light meter and measure under a person's chin approximately with a sphere pointing towards the camera. And in this case, we would pretend the model's there and we have a 125th F4. The ISO of this particular um, light source um, and our settings is 320 because we're using continuous lighting. Um, we always use continuous lighting in our boudoir sessions. We use Lincoln monoblocks on our fashion, and obviously outside we'll um, just measure the light with an ambient light meter reading. So these settings we would put into our camera, so that'd be 125th f4 at 320 ISO, and that gives us brilliant, perfect exposure. Next thing in the line, we use a grey card. We always use this with new light sources, and um, we measure in Photoshop or Lightroom with the colour picker, temperature colour picker, off the grey. Just include it in one frame and we know, because we've used this light source several times, that this light source is 3200 degrees Kelvin. It will vary. Different heads, different light modifiers give you different readings. That's why we want to use it. We want to get the best possible file out the camera you can. And obviously that goes for outside. So our monoblock heads with different light meters within our fashion sessions can go anything from 4,600 to 5,300 degrees Kelvin. Outside the light sources could differ massively from um, cloudy to sunny. Thousands of degrees difference from you know anywhere in the region of six, five thousand upwards to eight thousand degrees. So that's the basics how we start our sessions always. And we always start with these as a basis: the light, the position, the light meter reading, and obviously if it's a light new light source, a uh, grey card reading. These are the basics. Most of you will know them, you'll be so aware of them. This will be something you do every day yourself. But all we're doing is one in a series of many videos to teach you um, what we do in our studio for our photographic sessions.